I'm a full-time mother and teacher, part-time astronomy student, science fiction lover, what you would call a nerd or a super geek. My house is a cross between a Lucas and Roddenberry movie set with Star Wars and Star Trek, rockets and astronauts everywhere. You see, my early childhood memories began with me being molded by science fiction with programs like Doctor Who and Star Trek taking me to the faraway reaches of fictional space. This was, and it still is, my passion. Now I am a mother, a teacher, a student, and all the while pursuing science discovery and exploration. And as I grew older, I realized I was not alone, with companies like SpaceX paving the way to this next great giant leap. In the not too distant future, Humanity will become a spacefaring species, and we will begin with the colonization of Mars. Now, the first question I'm often asked when people learn of my interest in Mars programs is why? Why would you give up everything here on Earth, family, friends, risk it all just to live on Mars? I have to admit I'm always rather puzzled by this question and often, often reply, but why not? You see, humanity has chosen exploration as a way of life since we first crossed distant lands and then moved further beyond to the frontiers of distant shores. I truly believe explorers is, in essence, part of who we are. For me, Mars is about personal challenge and achievement, the opportunity to see or do what no one else could imagine possible, something so personal it's even difficult to put into words. Now, it is important to consider opportunity when pursuing one's goals. It almost always comes in the form of a challenge, ask for you to be brave, to face your fears, to push aside your personal doubts, and the endless lists of what ifs that we create for ourselves, such as, what if I fail? Take me, for example. My application with Mars One led to my time at the Mars Desert Research Station, which in turn led me here as a speaker at TEDx, facing my biggest fear, my personal kryptonite, public speaking. <laughs> hmm. Never in a million years did I think I would be a part of any of these events. But with a lot of hard work and determination, here I am. So let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go back to the beginning. Enter Mars One. This is a Dutch group who is interested in being the first to send humans to colonize Mars. Led to an open application around the globe. Young or old, rich or poor, formally qualified or not. A bold invitation to a one-way trip. Now I received tremendous support from my family and friends for my application. My husband has always said there are no second chances with your life. There are no refunds or do-overs. So when opportunity presents itself, be brave and seize it. I proceeded through the first and second rounds when opportunity came knocking, and I was approached and asked to be a part of a Mars Desert Research Station Simulation Crew, or MDRS for short. This is quite literally where you travel to the middle of nowhere in the Utah desert, cast aside your love for creature comforts, live in a small, dusty, modulated capsule with six other people you have never met before, and carry out your days doing science and living life like you were on Mars. There are water rations, dehydrated food, and one-minute showers every few days to look forward to. <laughs> small, dark, narrow crew quarters and bunks which leave you less than rested by the morning light. But it is because of each and every one of these things that it is an exceptional experience and place for Martian science. Now, I had two rotations at the MDRS. The first one, I was positioned as the crew geologist and green hub officer. And this is a rather ironic posting for me, since I have literally killed every single houseplant I have ever owned, <laughs> cactuses included. <laughs> Yet ironically, I was a success on Mars, and my crops sprouted and grew in their Martian regolith. Now, my second rotation was earlier this year, and opportunity came knocking once again, 
and I stepped up in ranks and was commander of my own international crew. For me, this was a personal milestone and achievement I will never forget. You have to understand, the MDRS crew members are quite literally walking, talking brain cells. Einsteins, if you like. They are either studying to become or already are experts in their fields. Enter me, commander, homeschooling mom. Now, my time as commander was priceless, and I learned a great deal about myself. I realized that I could not nor would not be limited by traditional norms, but rather only when I choose to stop pursuing my goals. I honestly have no idea where my next adventures will take me, but I'm welcoming the challenges that opportunities bring. My destination is Mars, and you may ask why, but I am brave enough to ask you, why not? <laughs>